AccuDraw with 3D Geometry. By the time you take this course, you should have prior experience using AccuDraw with 2D files. In 3D, you still draw the 2D shapes, but you may draw them on different active ACS planes. Regardless of the complexity of the geometry, when you draw on an active plane, you simply need to know how to rotate the AccuDraw compass to a top front and side orientation. In this topic you will learn how to manipulate the AccuDraw compass in 3D space, how to rotate the AccuDraw compass, how to draw lines in 3D space, and how to lock an axis. AccuDraw with 3D Geometry AccuDraw is a drawing aid composed of an input window, compass, and shortcuts used to orient the compass to the top, front, or side views of an active ACS plane. Continuing with the 06 ACS planes.dgn, let's create a new global origin ACS. In the previous exercise, you have already created the global origin. And in that case, all you need to do is activate it. It's now the active ACS. Then if I go to the right isometric view, it'll appear the same as in your workbook. In item 5 of the workbook, exercise 5, you need to draw a block on the top of this shape. 3D shape. You need to draw a block on the top. So we'll go to home and go to the block tool and when I click on the screen in the view that's when I would press the shortcut T and you see how it lines up. Let's create another one. I'll click here and I'll change the orientation of the compass to F for front. And I'll create a block here. I'll click over here, change it to S for side, and just come up to the top and put in the diagonal point. Let's go to our view attributes and turn off the fill so we can see the edges. These are 2D shapes. If I use the move tool, they're just 2D shapes, but they're oriented in 3D space. Top, side, and front. Now when I draw the block and I click somewhere in the view, and I was to look at this view in say the front view you'll see it drew it on the active plane. It is drawn on the plane. If I want to draw onto the top of this object we'll pick the block tool once again and I'll come up here somewhere snap to a point and I can draw on the block. I can move it wherever I need to. When I first place the X or snap to a point it set the depth of the point right at that little X. When I drew in empty space it drew it to the plane itself and it snapped to the plane. Now let's go up to Models and let's open the AccuDraw Compass Orientation. As I said before, there are three basic compass orientations. Top, T, Front, F, Side, S. Shortcuts. Remember from 2D training, Function Key F11 places focus in AccuDraw. Then type Shift question mark to display the AccuDraw shortcuts. Here are the 
three compass orientation shortcuts in a right isometric view. Something was drawn in the front, something was drawn in the right side over here, and something was drawn on the top. Just some 2D shapes. Now your objective will be to create these shapes, or any shape you want, onto this basic block. First I will display the shift question mark. Make sure in the lower corner down here you have focus and AccuDraw, which is function key 11. Press it, you see focus and AccuDraw. Press shift question mark to display the shortcuts. And the ones you will be using will be the front rotation, the side rotation, the top rotation. I will also display the V for view rotation because this can be confusing. So to keep it simple I will draw a circle. If I click on the screen anywhere and I say V, it draws perfectly aligned with the view in the X and Y of the view. It is not aligned according to the active ACS. This sometimes causes confusion for students. So if I rotate the view and I will rotate around the center of that circle, you'll see the angle it's on. It was aligned with the view, but in no way is it on the object. So this time I will draw, but I need to set the depth. So there's a way to do, there's two ways. One, you can just pick any point and draw it, or you can pick a point and use the shortcut, if you remember from 2D, the letter O, which places a tentative point. I could come over this way, press Enter, another shortcut that locks the axis. Move up to the top, which is the midpoint, line it up, press my left mouse button, and draw a circle right in the center. This was V, this is T, do the same thing over here pick a circle, come over to the midpoint, press the letter O. This time change the orientation to F for front. Come over, lock the axis, line it up, and draw a circle there. And the last one here, come over, letter O, S for side, come over, lock the axis, line it up, and draw a circle on this side. One more time, V, T for top, F for front, S for side. Do not get confused with this V. It's not used that often in 3D, but it was a tool available in 2D and it had a pretty good use in 2D. A little bit different here. So now take some time to draw your different shapes on the top, in the front, in the side. You'll notice if you can draw in the front, you can also draw, draw in the back. If you can draw on the side here, you can draw on the other side. If you can draw on the top, you can also draw on the bottom. So those are the only three shortcuts you really need for rotating the compass in 3D space. Now in item 11, we're going to take a look at how we draw lines in space. So we need to open that file and we need to open the model lines in 3D space. Double click and here it's already completed. Routing a line from that connector over and down and over to this one and from here coming up and over to this one. So I selected Smart Line and I can zoom in at any time. Select here the center and I need to come out directly in this direction so you notice when you get to the point where it highlights that's now called indexing 
and you press the enter key to lock your axis, you can come out whatever distance you need to. It's not important here as to how far. Click with the left mouse button, which is a data point. Go in this direction, and you'll see the vertex is set to rounded. Wouldn't have a square pipe here. We're showing something that looks like a pipe. So I have a radius. Come out here, lock my axis with the enter key, and come down to whatever distance uh, I lock my axis so I can move my cursor any way I want. I can zoom out, and I want to zoom to a point where you can see when I snap to that point. When you look at that, the little dashed lines are indicating the position of that orange line. Put a left mouse click there. Now I need to come down further so let me pan up a little bit. Change my AccuDraw compass to a front orientation and I'm going to come down this way, lock my axis with the enter key, select the center left mouse button, change to S for side, snap a point here and that's simple routing of a line. I'd like you to try by yourself to do it from here to this point here. And when you're finished it should look just like this. It's a little bit easier than the one on the left. In your workbook Item 14, I show dimensions of those lines to make it more exacting. I first wanted you to see the principle. Now you can do it, but you need to enter the dimensions as you've seen. Be a great exercise for placing lines in 3D space. In the next section, you will learn how to place 3D cells in 3D space. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.